So now we are going to go through the second part of the uh, camera thing features here. We have been through the spectate mode and we have been through the remove zoom protection feature. Now I'm going to take you through the unplug cam X, Y, and C features. Just going to turn on fraps here so you can see what's going on in game because the Camtasia sucks at doing in game footage. So, um, if we were going to make a movie, I'm just moving up here so you can see it, uh, with our mighty hero here with a sword and a shield, and he was coming down from this tree of destiny, and um, we have a static camera and he's running down. Like this, it looks like crap. It really does. It looks like okay, this was just me recording in game, you know, nothing special about that. So, if we want to spice that up a bit, just a bit, then we can use the unplug cam X, Y, and C feature. And to fully understand what it does, it unplug cam X, Y, and C. What it does is it allows you to make the camera not move in that particular coordinate. So, for example, if we unplug the cam in X, that means that the camera will no longer move in the X coordinate. Let's try that with C. So, if we have the camera looking towards me here, and we place it down here, and we jump, you can see the camera. You can also see it over there. The camera moves up and down, up and down every time we jump, right? When we hit unplug cam C, what happens when we jump? is the camera will not move up and down but the, the target of the camera will move up and down it's just the camera itself that does not move it will still target the, uh, the character so when we move you see now it looks down and just that just that simple click on the uh, unplug cam C makes this a really cool effect and uh, it's of course based on where you were when you hit it so if I'm going to okay it's it should be pointing upwards and down just move the camera up here and then unplug again and then it will look like this and if we do the same things for the uh, unplug X for example we can use that one and then we, when we move around it looks like this now the camera goes through the uh, the ground here so maybe we want to unplug the cam C also so it moves like that let's just see it in game here Actually, Perhaps only recall that, so that shouldn't be a problem. So that does look really cool, right? Just going to turn those two off again. Going back here. Oh, I fell off. And the last one, of course, is cam Y. And uh, I'm just going to show you. Let's see. Whoops. There we go. And cam Y. I'm just going to move it over here and cam Y. So so this gives us, you know, really just a little bit more spice to the camera movement. And we can, of course, like I did before, combine these together, just all of them, for example, and then the camera will not move at all. And it gives us a lot of different uh, opportunities for making uh, cool camera pants. So you can see it looks really cool when he walks around. And there. So there is a lot of, to play around with with just these three buttons here. Now the last one here is target relative. And target relative is a little bit like the other target relative. However, it's not in the spectate functions. So it's just the normal one. So if I hit target relative here what you will see is I can actually see like target relative over here uh, with the camera following the, uh, the peg here it's a little bit like my question however because I can still see my own body right there and uh, when I, I can still move around so if we're going to like make an attack on this peg I can just move from over there and then rawr, and then kill it Cool stuff. And uh, just to let's just take the last panes here before, or the last sliders here before we turn off this tutorial. Um, 
I'm just going to turn off fraps. I don't think you need that one anymore. Uh, the first one of these veins is the um, camera zoom. It does only work in uh, while you are in spectate mode because you normally nothing happens when I use the slider. Uh, however, when I'm in spectate mode, it allows me to zoom. Zoom in, zoom out. And when you zoom in, for example, and then turn off spectate mode, zoom is uh, saved. So now I have a little bit of zoom in the camera. We can zoom all the way in, and as you can see now, we're really close to the uh, character. That makes a funny effect when you walk around. So always remember, put back the zoom slider when you have uh, when you're done recording in spectate mode, so you can see like normal. The next is field of view. And field of view is well, field of view. Um, the higher field of view, the more <laughs> the more view you actually got. Um, so when we extend the field of view, we can see more with the camera here. As you can see, extended it up. And now we can see, for example, the buildings over here and things like that. When we move around, it gives really cool looking effect with the camera. And we can, of course, decrease it. It's a bit like zoom, but it's in a different way than zoom. The next one is auto, let me just reset the sliders here. Um, auto pan X, Y, and C is also uh, spectate mode features. If we hit a little bit in the C here, it moves up automatically. I do not move or push any button here. It just moves around automatically. Something like that. And if we set down the speed, for example, to 1, we make a lot of crazy uh, pans with this. It's not something I use a lot and not possibly not something you're going to use a lot, but it's there. It's a cool feature if you're going to need it, so um, so I've left it in uh, from the first version of uh, the camera tool. So there's a lot, of, lot to play around with here. So anyway, that was the first tutorial part in um, the camera settings. Let's go to the costume settings in the next uh, tutorial. So, see ya!